So, um, yeah, so just because we didn't record that bit, so we are going to be doing a lesson on roundabouts. Yeah, we are. I am going to play the role of your pupil. Mm -hmm. And we just had a little chat about, you know, what stage this pupil's at. So I have done roundabouts before. You have. I've done them around this little local area where we are now. But, and they're quite straightforward, basic roundabouts. Quite quiet. Pretty quiet. Um, and it was I was introduced to roundabouts. And I did pretty well. And hence, we're going to move on to the next level where we're going to go on to busier roundabouts, multi-lane roundabouts. Okay. On the um, NDR, which people watching this will think, what the hell is that? That's just a dual carriage, new bit of road on Norwich. It's got dual carriageways joined up by many roundabouts. And you, we've been talking about the route because... You know that we've deemed that this is yet yeah, what I need to do. I need <clears> to do multi-lane, and that we've, we, that's what we're going to do. Mm. And then you might have the option to go into the city and do some more roundabouts in the city, which will be busier. Correct. But we don't have. Yeah, we're, we'll see how we get. See how we get on with that. Because we might we might come off and then go back on. Come exactly, back. Yeah, we might need to repeat and do a bit of NDR. Yeah. It depends what happens with you people and the problems. Exactly. Yes. So it's always the unknown, and we were just saying about route planning. You know, the route plan is. The, the route is client centered to me. You can't really plan it and set it in stone and hope your people follow <laughs> the plan. No, it's, certainly not. You know, it depends what I do, the mistakes I make, what I ask for, what I need, as to you will adapt the route mm. accordingly. So that's sort of, so we had that conversation. And I've done, um, I've done some rural roads where I've been up to 60 mile an hour. So yeah. I have been on faster moving road, but we did agree I haven't done dual carriageways. You haven't. So this yeah. will be my first little time on dual carriageways. We won't be dealing with slip roads joining or exiting because they're not on this section road. Roundabouts are, which kind of ma makes this lesson yeah a good choice. So yeah. roundabouts, but I'll, in between the roundabouts, I'm going to be on dual carriageway, and sure. that that is a new experience for me. So we've agreed that's where I'm at. I'm at I'd say I'm at the train stage so in terms of vehicle control I, I can control the car so I am a suitable candidate to do this road um, but yeah you know it's going to be it's, I've not done it before there's going to be a learning experience for me there's things I need to learn and get out of it. Basically yeah. So that's that's sets the scene so if you're happy and ready unless you've got any questions we're going to our role play and of course like always if ever you get in a muddle in your role play just time out just say look I'm just, uh, I've lost it can we have a chat mm. a chat we can find somewhere to pull up and chat I can come out and roll um, I want to try and create a, a more a realistic environment for you a simulation so you get the feeling that I am with a learner so normal things apply you have use the dual controls with me you are aware that a learner might you might need to take action you mm. might need to take action whether that be verbally or physically so be aware of that I can still do that I could drift out a lane into the path of other cars which you would need to respond to okay but I won't actually crash the car hopefully not no. obviously okay. but you know you need to be mindful that I'm I'm a learner mm -hmm. And if I look confused or, or you're explaining to me, you know, I, it's because I don't understand what you've said. And um, so I'm going to try and do my best to simulate, you know, a real life learner. And so just be aware that you might need to take physical or verbal interventions. Mm. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to drive nice and cleanly. No. You know, I am a learner. So anyway, so we've, we've established that. So yeah, so... um. And you can call a timeout at any point if you get a bit harassed or you're just not sure you want to ask. All okay. right, fine, cheers, yeah. And if I think I need to come out of roll, I'll just say, look, I'm out of roll. And then, you know, so you know. Okay. All right. Yeah. All so right. if you're happy, we can go into roll. Yeah, so, it is. Wah, I'm in roll. Cool. Oh, how are um, you doing today? You all right? Yeah, not bad. Thanks. Good. Good. Yeah. So uh, last week we did roundabout, so. Yeah, it's alright, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it's good. Quite enjoyed that. We did the ones around here, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we went round. Went round the block. A few, yeah, most, yeah, looked at quite a lot, didn't we? We right? did. Mm -hmm. Left, right, straight ahead. Yeah. 
Yeah, Remind me what we uh, what did we learn again? So what system did we use when entering roundabouts? Oh, the um, is that the the MSPSL? Yeah, 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 yeah. we yeah, did. Okay. Yeah. So we used MSPSL, and we looked for things like what did we look for when entering the roundabout? Cars coming from the right because I've got to give way. Mm-hmm. See them. Turn that down, obviously. Yeah. So go look to the right cars. Did we speak about blockers? Yeah, you did actually, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And I believe we spoke about when we went onto the roundabout, instead of just going and getting to the roundabout quite quickly, we, we spoke about hanging back a bit and assessing what was happening before really oh, yeah. pushing onto the roundabout. I said, yeah, you said don't like rush to sort of stop. You said if you, that's quite good actually, because if, if I hung back a bit, then Sometimes the cars would turn off and then I could carry on going. So exactly. Handy, actually, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that. So I think what we'll do is we'll step it up a notch today. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah, you did really well. I was very pleased with last week and I think today we can we can cover something very, very new. Okay. So we're gonna go on to roundabouts again, but we're gonna go on to multi lane roundabouts and busier which are busier. And they're gonna be on a dual carriageway. So oh, how we did right, urban okay. roads. Okay. We're going to step that up to dual carriageways, is that right? Ah, right, okay, yeah. So remind me, are you doing your theory currently? Have you done it? Um, I've done it, i passed that. You passed. I should have told you, I passed it a couple of weeks ago. Very uh, nice. So you know about road signs and things like that? So. Well, I didn't get 100%. Um, though I got 50 questions, didn't you? I know I got 43, and I think that is... You have to get 43 to pass, so I do yeah. a screen bit. Well, at least you pass. Pass is a pass. So I got a seven wrong out of the 50, but yeah, and when I was revising, there was loads of questions. Yeah, when I used to do my mock test, I, there was quite a few I could get wrong. So, yeah, don't buy... <laughs> 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 I know it all. No, no, uh, that's no. fine. I, but I don't, yeah, I feel pretty confident that I could pass, but like I said, I only just passed it, so... Well, let, let's recap a little bit on last week. So... We were approaching roundabouts, so we need to look for blockers, we need to look for oncoming traffic. Um, I told you that entering a, entering a roundabout is kind of like treating it as a as a one-way road, because the roundabout only flows one way, remember? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So when we look at a roundabout, we're looking to, where are we looking, can you, can you remind me? So it comes around. They come around from the right. Exactly. Yeah. So we looked from we looked to the right to see what's happening. We're making early assessments, and then we're moving onto the roundabout, stopping should we need to. Now, luckily enough, last week we were on a very we were on these roundabouts, and they were quiet. You didn't need to stop, really, did you? I think they were very quiet. Yeah. So we'll move I on think to I this had one. To stop once. Once. From what I can remember, it's not bad, is it? There was a bus on it, <laughs> and I stopped. Yeah. So, so with today's roundabouts, they're going to be multi-lanes. They're going to have numerous different lanes on them. The lanes are going to go in a different direction. So you'll, some roundabouts are going to have three lanes, some will have two. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Okay. So remember, uh, you're going to have to choose uh, your lanes and your positioning quite early, okay? So yeah. when we did Crossroads a while back, um, I spoke to you about we spoke about MSPSL, and then I said, well, you can do MPSSL. Remember, you could do mirrors and get your position in early, then do your signal and oh, yeah, speed. You, and yeah, sometimes so so you don't have to signal if there was a dedicated lane at traffic lights, you said. And, um, yeah, sometimes I could get into that lane earlier than then signal, because it could be too early. I remember that, yeah. So we may have to apply that today as well. Okay. It all depends. So we're going to be looking out for two real big things today, okay? The first, or well, let's say buses. three. Let's say three big right. things. Yeah. Road signs. Oh, okay. Because we want to know exactly where we're going on the roundabout and we want to make decisions very early. Okay. We're going to be getting, once we've looked at the road signs, we're going to be looking at, the, um, so the signs, we're going to look at it road markings. Markings the road, road markings that might divide the lanes. So let's just say we're entering a roundabout with four lanes, or three lanes. Oh I don't think it will be a four lane one, it might be a three lane one. Oh. And we want to go straight ahead. We have the option of staying in the left or going in the middle, depending on road markings, depending on what they tell us, okay? 
Okay. So road markings will be the next thing, and then from there we'll judge it by traffic by other road users. We can see what they're doing. Okay. Don't worry about it. It's it's not it's not too scary. It's gonna be fun. Oh, we'll have a good okay. laugh. Now, because we're gonna be on a dual carriageway, do you do you remember what the speed limit for a single track road is, an urban road? Um, are there street lights or not? No street lights. I mean, it's gonna be like a country road. It's national. What's the national dual carriageway? Sixty. Sixty. Right, well, um, so, it's 70. Oh, I thought you told me it was 60. Dual carriageway is a single... I thought it was 60. No, no, it's fine. Okay. So, if we're looking at dual carriageways and um, motorways, it's 70. That's the national speed limit, okay? Okay. 70. Whether you want to go 70 once we're in the dual carriageway or not, it's up to you. I'm not going to force you to push 70. If we stay in the left hand lane, you do 60, it's okay, I'm not Was going. I right, it was 60 on a single track though? Right. Yes. Oh. On I a single track, it's 60. On oh, a dual so carriageway, it's 70. Oh, it's different on a dual carriageway? Mm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's it's 70, yeah. That might be one of the questions I got wrong. Uh, possibly, yeah. I thought it was 60. Yeah, it probably was one of the questions you got wrong then. Oh, okay. Well, we're and not... And Motorway 70 as well. Yeah, Motorway 70 as well. I thought that was 80. Yeah, they should be 80. <laughs> but they're 70, um, unfortunately. Well, it should be 80. No, it, um, that, that's, that's, that's a more of a joke opinion. Oh. It's not actually 80. But, I mean... Because they were talking about maybe... Were they talking about once... Sort of make, thinking about making it 80 but a load of people said no 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 they actually were about a year a year or two ago yeah they oh, okay. were I was, I was very sad no, it's it the news, I, yeah that, that just made me think I, yeah I think that's where I got out from yeah no it, it's 70 okay. it's just that a lot of people's opinion is that it should be 80 Oh, I see. Okay. It's not legally eighty. Don't do eighty because oh, okay. you'll get you'll get a speeding ticket and yeah. you'll get three points. I don't motorways, yeah, yeah no. Well, <laughs> I'm allowed on a motorway now, though, aren't I? You are, yeah. So could I? Because well, as I now I pass my theory, my dad said he's going to buy me um, a car, mm. so I can get a bit more practice with him. And he was saying, "Oh, good," because like last year and that they changed the law, so we was going to go and have a. We we're going to drive to Cambridge and he was going to let, let me drive and so I can have a little go on the motorway. Is that all right? Um, that's that's really up to you and your dad. I can't tell you otherwise. You are legally allowed on there. As long as you have learned insurance and the car and you're correctly covered. And your Do dad. have to have L plates? I would definitely say you have to have L plates, yes, 110%. Okay. L roll. What? That is illegal. What? You can't. My dad's not an ADI. I yeah. can only go on with an ADI. I didn't know that. No PDI. No supervising drive. It's got to be an ADI. Really, on cool. on dual carriage Absolutely. on motorways. That's why I, 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 I didn't even it. know that. I'll, I'll hold my hands up. I had no so idea. Read the um. You've got, you've got a copy of the books. What yeah. you need to do is read the driving instructions handbook. Does it's, that cover the new rules though? Because it's only you've recently got, you've changed. You've got a new edition. Okay. Yeah. You've got a new edition. Right. And also just keep abreast because not only things will change. Yeah. You know, so just keep. I, I knew that had changed. Could you imagine if you said, <laughs> you've just told me that, and I go and say, Dad, we're all good. What's going on? I just got FL plates and insurance. And <laughs> I, I didn't know that. All, all, all man's up. No. So, yeah. So, anyway, okay. So, there you go. I'm <laughs> back in roll. All right. So, back in roll. Okay. All right. Fine. So, I can't do that. You one. can't do that. No. Only with you. And, well, not even with me. I'm a PDI. I wouldn't be allowed oh. to do it. Okay. So, I need an ADI. You okay. need an ADI. Got it, okay. <laughs> I want to say approved driving instructor, but I know the A is not for approved. But I always think it's approved. I can't remember what the A is for. It is even. approved. Is it? Yeah. It is approved. Well, that's, well, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Sorry, back into roll. Yeah. yeah, so no, you can't. You, you, need, you need an approved oh, driving I, instructor. I'll book a lesson with an ADI. With yeah. Well, I might do that pass plus. On a pass. If I'm going to be I'm honest doing. with you, the pass plus is the best way to go. Just, just even if it doesn't affect your insurance, the knowledge you gain from a pass plus is amazing. You get, you get experience for long distance driving. Good. You get oh, yeah. many hours in a vehicle. Good. Sure. So let's be honest. You're young. You're eventually going to want to go to the festivals and stuff. I did when I was younger with festivals all the time. 
So those are long drives. Yeah. Getting a pass oh. plus behind you would really help you with those long oh, drives. Yeah. I'll look into that. I would. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, nothing. I, I, I'll add a roll, but once I'm at ADI, that is something I'm going for. <laughs> I'm going to teach yeah. people you just need to pluses. register with a devious say they send you a pack. Well, I can't do that. I'll even give you a bit of training on delivering pass plus courses. Yeah, I'd love yeah, to do yeah. that. Anyway. All right. Yeah. Sorry. Back in the roll. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll go tackle that today, okay? Um, okay. So, the. And since a dual carriageway is a dual carriageway and the speed limit is 70, what lane will you drive on the left or the right? What's normal driving position? Because there are two lanes. There's two on a dual carriageway. Um, I think you can use either, can't you? You can, but I mean, what's the correct driving position? Where should you, which lane should you be in? The left? Yes. Oh, okay. And what's the right one for? Thing, if is you that like for... That's the fast lane, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, let, let's call it more the overtaking lane. Okay. okay, it's it's more for overtaking. Correct driving position is the left-hand side, and okay. the fast slash fast lane, whatever you want to call it, is, is really just an overtaking lane. It's not really meant to be driven in constantly. Not meant to use it for overtaking slow traffic. I just thought, like, the the left lane was right for your lorries, slow-moving car and all that, and then all the cars, the fast cars, could down too. I mean, technically, yes, you, you can do that. Okay. If, if, if you were driving, here's a good example. Let's just say you're driving from here to Cambridge, okay? Like you said with your dad. And a lot of it is a dual carriageway before you hit the motorway. A lot of it is dual carriageway. If it's summertime, you've got the left lane's full of full prior, your primary use, the right lane, because you'll be in it all the time because you'll be constantly overtaking. So my primary lane. lane's the right one. And um... if If... It depends on the driving condition, okay? It really depends on the condition of the road and the traffic. Oh, so it, what if it's raining, what do they do? Well, if it's raining, it, it, let's just say it's more traffic related, more than weather related, okay? Oh, okay. So if there's a lot of slow moving vehicles in the left hand lane, you'd mm. constantly be swerving in and out every couple of minutes. Would you deem that safe? You were constantly going left to right, left to right, left to right? No. Just what to stay in your lane exactly. You'd stay in the if, and if okay. stay in the right lane, achieve that. You do that, but if the left that lane is right. clear and safe and there's nothing stopping you from doing that, then just stay in the left lane, okay? Okay, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it, I should have explained that better, but it's, it's really based on traffic conditions, how you treat the roads. Um, so today we're going to stay in the left hand lane, uh, you don't have to push 70. You can stay around the 60 mark if you want, if you feel comfortable doing that. I'll if we try. can I'd push 70, well. let's do it. I'll try what I'm like at 60, and I think it'd be quite nice just to get to 70 if I can. Yeah, that'd be great, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's, right, let's yeah, do yeah. that. I'm up for it, yeah. And then with the roundabouts, now I've spoken, we know how to tackle roundabouts, we know what we need to do. Yeah, I did these, alright. Exactly. So we're just gonna, I'll give you instruction plenty of time with these, as per normal. We'll go down a good route. And then I'll talk you through the roundabouts if that's if that's how we do it like every time, isn't it? We we normally do it that way, don't we? First time I talk you through it. Yeah, you whether it's new, you kinda of help me and tell me where I've gone wrong normally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we'll work through it together, okay? We'll we'll turn we'll make this into a bit of a team effort. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. I don't think there's a lot more I can cover on this because I'm just gonna go on forever basically. Okay. Um and we'll tackle everything as we see fit. Now, just with handling risk, we always share risk together. We, we're, we're, we, like I said, we're a team. Uh, so if I feel that, I'll be giving instruction, but should I feel that I need to give you verbal instruction to make something safe, just to say, I feel that we're gonna be in danger, I'll give you verbal instruction. Of course, as per normal, if I feel that I need to come in physically with the controls of steering wheel, I will do so, okay? Are you right with all that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to go drive this route in a minute. Um, Shall we get ready? Yeah, get yeah, 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 definitely go. Yeah. Set up. Cockpit drill as per normal. Yeah. So just from, just talk me through your cockpit drill. I know we've done a million times. Just Doors shut. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah, so I was telling you through. So I've done my yeah. doors. Yeah. I've done my seat. What are you looking for when doing the seat? I can reach pedals yeah. and the height and the rake. Head restraint's good. 
seatbelt. Yep. Steering was fine. Mirrors. I can adjust a little bit. This door mirror is actually. Oh, maybe I'll move that up a little bit. Yeah, door mirrors are fine as well. That's all good. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Cool. And before moving the car, I know we've covered all this a million times, but obviously we, we like to be get it spot on. Um, how, before you start the car, what are you checking for? How about neutral? Great. And where should I go? Should I go up? I, I, I'm going to be honest, I actually cannot see past this Range Rover. I have no idea what those signs are saying. Well, there's an arrow on the road there pointing out. Then, Something yeah, like if that's what the arrow says, then yeah. Okay, so we're going to go left. We're going to go out here. When we come out here, we're going to turn left, okay? Okay, yeah. So we'll turn left here. Just follow the road round, okay? Uh, right round. And we're going to take the, the exit to the right just in a minute. So not here. Not Hold here. on, stop, stop. Uh, yeah, it is here. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Oh, here? Yeah, because yeah, that sign means no entry, so down oh. here, please. Mm -hmm. That's not very clear, that one. It's not, no. That, that's my fault. I apologise. I could have almost read you, led you down the wrong road. I really wish Macro would spend money on the car park. Well, at least they let us use it for free, don't they? Actually, I can't complain. Yeah, fair <laughs> point. So right you down parked here. out there for two hours. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That'd be a ticket when you get a pack. Don't say that. <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> I use a cafe if it helps. Um, so, we're going to go out this exit and we're going to turn right, okay? Turn right, okay. Yeah, that's right. I can't, I can't complain, can I? And at this roundabout, we're going to take turn right as well, okay? So. You're a bit far out, aren't you? Can, can you come in, hug the curb a little bit more? Yep. So, yeah, there we go. So you're quite far out there, weren't you? So if you're turning right, well, what should you be doing? Oh, should I be in the right lane? Yes. We want to be hugging that in the curb a bit. Okay? Oh, I see. Okay. So I'm going to turn left at this round. Now, which two mirrors are you going to check? Yeah, but it doesn't mean it's correct. Just because no. someone else does. If someone jumps off a cliff, would you jump off a cliff after no. it? No. no. Okay, so head at this roundabout, okay? Heads. Head. Like, yeah. So remember, okay. And then off this one? Yeah, off here, but. Okay, so. We were in the inside lane again as well, weren't we? So, why don't you stick to the outside lane? What is that? The left one, the outside? The outside, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Okay, so... Okay, how about this roundabout? Let's go... We're going to go left, okay? Just look, we've got a truck coming now. So let's see what he's going to do. He's going to be around. Yes. Oh, he stayed in his lane. He did. Oh, is this the dual carriage? This is dual carriage, but we're not in the 70 limit yet. Oh, we're, not? we're still in the 40. Oh. What are these two round signs here? Oh, national speed limit. Yeah, so after the national speed limit signs, then we can look at doing 70. But of course, we've got a lorry in front of us now, don't we? So we don't want to just rush up behind him, do we? Okay. Okay, so do you think it's safe for us to go past him, overtake and go past him the right hand lane? So check your centre mirror and left mirror, signal right. Oh, left mirror. Did I say that? Yeah. Sorry. I was saying that one. No, it's oh, fine. Bad. You're right. You're right. I made a mistake in my oh, instruction. Okay, okay. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so let's make progress. Let's get up to 70 if we can. I'm up to 
65. Yeah, you're doing well, yeah, great. Fantastic. So hold on, stop, stay, stay, stop. stay. No, no, don't stop the vehicle. Oh. I do plan to stop here, can you? No, no, don't stop the vehicle. Oh, sorry, I heard you say stop. No, no, my, I, I need to work someone word to say. He's behind me. Yeah, yeah he, he was behind you, me. yeah, don't, don't stop. Okay, Howard, we're approaching roundabout, so foot off the gas. Let the, the car do some engine braking. Okay. We're yeah. going to go ahead at this roundabout where the sign says Chroma, that exit there, okay? So it looks like a second exit. So check your mirrors, start applying the brake slowly. We're going to stay in the left hand lane here, in the left hand lane, Howard. So come back, slow the car down, select the appropriate gear, look to your right, stay in the left hand lane, Howard. So stay in oh, the. This, uh, what, this lane? Yeah. Yes, stay in the left hand lane. Okay. Is that ahead? I think I went left. Did I go there? Have I gone the right way? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it, that's a bit confusing. It, it is a very confusing, ahead. it is a very confusing uh, sign. Because they're all the right. Well, you said ahead, but I... Sure, well, this oh, yeah, it's weird because this is ahead because there's a little cut off road there, but we'll talk about it in a minute. Let, let's look at this roundabout here, okay? okay. So, okay. approaching another roundabout, so come back, come back into a lane a bit more, okay? A bit, bit more in the center, yes. So, approaching the roundabout, we're gonna go ahead again, okay? So, second one which says Norwich and Chroma. Oh, I missed that. So, don't worry. So, off the gas, Chroma. off the gas now, stay in your lane, okay? Look, check your mirrors. What lane should I go in this? Stay in this, this lane. lane, stay in this lane. Okay. Don't change lanes, stay here. So make sure you're in the appropriate gear. Okay, Howard, back in, back. What? Slow down, slow down a bit. We're not gonna... Alright. <laughs> okay, so do you think we're quite close to this truck? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's ease it, let's ease it. Okay, check your mirrors. Very wary of me now, as yeah. you see what I've just done. So take control. Okay. Don't let me do it. But I don't understand the way. No. Just think this is your car, your insurance, your people. Yeah. So I'll go back and roll. Can I go six? Watch. Yeah, you can go six. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so what we'll do Howard is we're gonna take we're gonna turn left here, okay? So the first exit says Norwich East Sprouston. Oh yeah. We're yeah. gonna turn left down here, okay? So did you check your mirrors before signaling? Oh, no, no, okay. So left hand lane, foot off the gas, slow it down. So this is quite, we can't see what's happening, it's just... God, I almost like it breaks there. Up here? Yeah, up here. Okay. Slow us down. Okay. Thank you. Okay, remember the uh, the rule in perfect conditions? The road to try, how far should we be behind this truck? Two seconds. Two seconds. Oh, yeah, that bit close. Yeah. You did get a bit close. So, we don't want to exceed 50. We're not going to exceed 50 because we've got a lot in front of us. Could I overtake if it was... Okay. Oh, it is 50. Could I overtake? Looking at the road markings, looking at the solid white lines, what do you think? Oh, no. No, you're not allowed to overtake on solid white lines. Yeah. No, it's so no, no, don't, don't ever take it to the white line. I don't think I would, but... No, I wouldn't ever take it anyway. Really. What about it. now? Would, would, would you legally be able to ever take it now? Don't do it, but would you be able yeah, to... Yeah, if the line is broken... Um, yeah, but I wouldn't do it near a junction or approach an event. Correct. I mean, given this road's lack of vision, you can't see much anyway, would you want to overtake it regardless? Would you feel safe overtaking? Would you put your life on the line? Only if it was safe, would I consider it? I mean, I haven't done much overtaking, so... Uh, yeah, 
Yeah. I'd probably just rather stay behind him, to be honest. I'd say you should only overtake if it's really safe to do so. I mean, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're approaching a 30 now and a roundabout, so put off the gas, let's slow down and make sure we get into the 30. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 on the speed limit. So we're getting ahead at this roundabout, okay? Stay in the left hand lane, Howard, so oh, you can see how it's separating into two lanes in the left hand lane. Check your mirrors, get the right gear in. We've got a car coming, so let's stop. Great. And let's go left hand lane, they're separate in two. You're cutting lanes, so come to oh. your left. Sorry. That's fine. This road's quite busy. Um, okay, fine. So let's let's continue going. So with this runabout, we're going to get in the right-hand lane. Okay, so follow this micro. Okay, let's slow down. Follow the micro. Yeah. It's not a single. So we're going to go straight ahead. So go around. Follow the roundabout around. Follow it around. What this one? Not here. Oh, oh yeah. Keep going. Keep oh, that's going. That's right, isn't it? So this is oh, our right. exit. This is oh. Yeah, no, we're following around. It is a confusing roundabout. It's said ahead, but it's right. Or okay, we'll, we'll talk about it in a minute, so don't worry. We're I was gonna... trying to follow the mic, but because he went sick, I don't know where it's going to It's fine. Okay, Howard, so let's um, we'll go ahead for a minute. Just follow the road for now. Is it still. No, it's just. It's 30. 30. We went to 30 earlier, didn't we? Yeah. So look at the street lights as well. What do you think? Just that, yeah. Okay, so when safe to do so, yeah. can you pull up on your left? So maybe behind this car here if you can. Yeah, along here? Yeah, along here is fine. Okay. It's a nice wide road. Ah, okay. Alright, let's turn the car off and let's chat about that little journey. Yeah, we're cool, yeah. Cool. Grab my window. Yeah, yeah, play it's actually a bit stuffy. Okay, yeah. <sighs> Great. Oh, that yeah, was a bit different, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? Well, I was a bit confused sometimes. Um, yeah, I was a bit not always sure what was going in. Some of them are, yeah, I was a bit confused. Like with that, that roundabout. There we I didn't really know where I was going. Let's talk um, about it. I didn't it. know if was going ahead or right, and I didn't know where the mic was going, so I got a little bit um, confused at that point. Um, I'm not sure how I did on the rest. Um, I, I'm quite pleased I overtook a lorry, though. That you was, did? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Never done that before. That was sweet, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Gives you that bit of thrill. You're like, yeah. <laughs> All right. So let, let, let's talk about all that, but let's let's work backwards, okay? Let's yeah. work from this this roundabout, and we'll work the backwards okay. to the very first one, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so as you now know, there's a lot going on, eh? Oh yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot to think about. There's a lot to think driving. about. Yeah, never never done that before, so I was a bit yeah. But you reached seventy. Did I? Oh, yeah, well, no, close I didn't enough, yeah. Past that lorry, I think I did, too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So... That's a, an objective achieved, isn't it? I've not done that before. <laughs> yeah, you paid attention to speed limits. So let's talk about what you did well first, okay? Let, let's go into the good stuff to begin with. Okay. The good stuff is you reached 70. You um, followed direction. Yeah, there's some confusion. Some of that could have been caused by myself, and I admit that. I told you to follow the micro, and the micro didn't indicate, so had I maybe given you different instruction, then you may have followed that roundabout correctly, so I apologise for that. Um, yeah, I just weren't sure where, where I was supposed to go. It, it's fine, you were confident in your drive, I felt that was pretty good as well, okay? There were things maybe they're lacking a bit, like mirrors, There were a lot. there's a lot of mirrors being missed there. Yeah, I did, I remember you said I, on one of the roundabouts, you said, um, did you check the mirrors? And I put my signal on and then you remind me and I thought, oh yeah, I forgot that one, yeah. Mm. What's the importance of mirrors? Can you remind me? Yeah, you've got to check your mirrors before you signal because um, your signals might affect other road users mm. and they might think I'm going to pull out or, and I'm not yet, so they might just have a bit of a moment. Yeah. Yeah. 
So looking at that last roundabout, let's, let's try and envision this roundabout. So we're coming up here. I'd say this is our roundabout here. We had an exit going off, sort of there, wasn't it? Towards uh, Tesco's. There's a Tesco exit there. And then our exit was something like here, wasn't it? Something like that. The way I recall it is there was an exit yeah. on the left. <laughs> and there was another exit. Like you've drawn it there, sort of 11 o'clock. And then there was another exit right <clears> around <throat> here, I thought. I don't remember that. Not, um, yeah, a bit confusing. Yeah. Well, I think that, I, yeah, I just got a bit confused about it. It's yeah. fine. So, that roundabout is admittedly a challenging roundabout, okay? I'd say all the roundabouts were quite challenging today, but that one is a very challenging roundabout, okay? Well, did I do it wrong, did I? No, I'm not going to say no. you did it wrong. I, I think, let, let's talk about what you did right. So, the roundabout had two lanes coming up to it, okay? There was a left hand lane and a right hand lane. So with that particular roundabout, to go in the direction we yeah, were going... Yeah, when you said turn right, I thought, well, I'll go in the, the right lane. Because you're supposed to, aren't you? Yeah, I correct. I remember you saying that at the first roundabout. So Spotted. we tried to do that. Yeah. And then you said go ahead and follow the mic. And I was like, oh, where's the mic we're going? And then I thought, I kind of thought where the Tesco's was. was it? Yeah. Because it seems more straight than the, the one I'm walking yeah, I was yeah. just confused, really, yeah. Yeah, no, I understand. And let, let's try to get to the bottom of that confusion, okay? Let, let's try to understand why that, why it's like that. So, the reason... So, on a normal roundabout, the left-hand lane usually is for going left and ahead. Okay, normally. Yeah. If we look at the average roundabout, the, the general the bog standard roundabout, ahead and left is the left-hand lane unless road marking state otherwise. Okay, That's yeah. the general rule of thumb, okay? Yeah. On that roundabout, it's not. How? Oh. On that roundabout, to go ahead, ahead would have been the exit we came out of. That's technically ahead. Oh, so I did it right. You did it right. right. Okay. Yes, you did it correctly. You were fantastic. You were in the right lane, you followed the mic around, and you came off at the right exit. Could have been a little bit more mirror work, but apart from that, you, you tackled the roundabout correctly. Oh. So well done. You did well. Oh, so my mirrors weren't so good on that one, okay. I think the mirrors and the journey need to work. Not so much that runabout, but the entire journey. Probably just, just checking a few things. This runabout, we're going to get in the right hand lane, okay? So follow this micro. Okay, let's slow down. Well, when weren't my mirrors very good on it? Um, well, I'm pretty much all the roundabouts. Am I right? Yeah, just check my roll. Yeah, there's, there's, I checked into it, but you've, I'm pretty you've, sure... You've almost got an impossible task here. Right. You've got so much to talk about. There is a lot to talk about, isn't there? Yeah. Too much. Because... Too much. And there's so much for you to try and delve into there. And with a bit... If you were kind <clears> of doing some of this stuff before we left, to prevent... Yeah, I'm going onto a new subject, mm. and I... Have you, have you had a visual aid of roundabouts and multi-lane roundabouts and what lane to use and staying in my lanes and the risks and dangers of not doing that? Have I had that kind of briefing onto a new subject? I guess, I guess not really because... Not at all. Because ultimately... <laughs> <laughs> you're right because... So see, I don't know what I'm doing and I'm doing like quite dangerous <clears throat> things, aren't I? Mm. Cause, and so, yeah. so if you, you know, like you're trying to shut the stable door after the horse has bolted here. Yeah. And we want to try and, with a briefing, we want to make them aware of what's happening, what we're going to be doing, ask me questions, show me visual aids as to so we can decide what, what we should be doing at these multi-lane roundabouts, which I've not done. And so that I understand mm. before I go and drive towards them mm. what to do and why and the risks of not doing that. Because I thought they'd just be And then you agree to talk me through fully. Mm. And because that hasn't happened, you've just got a, like a lot of reactive talking to do. It is, yeah. You're trying to put the flames out. It's like the house is on fire. And we, it didn't need to be. We could have just... With lesson planning 
and briefings, we can prevent a lot of this needless <coughs> stuff. And, yeah. You know, just giving directions clearly and in good time would, you know, I saw a lot of this now. Yeah, because when I, when I was doing this lesson plan and looking into the roundabouts and planning and putting it all together, see, for me, if I thought, well, if we've covered a lot of roundabouts, it's just an add-on rule from there. But I guess, yeah, I, it's just a way of tackling it because it is a new subject. Technically, yes, it is a new subject. But I guess every new subject's an add-on from a last subject. Well, have I done that before? No. No. So I've not done multi Would roundabouts. it be... Let's say... Trying to think of an example. Um, yeah, you're really good at board games, and I've bought a new board game, but I, we don't go through the rules, we just start playing. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. So we're, mm. we're not, you know, there's things going wrong. We don't no, you know. So it's, I've not done it before, it's new. You're mm. moving on to something new. I hadn't done that before. I've never been on that road before. Mm. I've not dealt with multi lanes. No, you did it in your explanation. You said, you told me a little bit about lanes, if there were three lanes and da 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 But I wasn't involved in that conversation. I didn't see a picture of it and didn't think, all right, okay, so if you were going ahead here, Howard, with the road markings like this, what lane would you go? I said, well, I could have picked, pick either. Mm. The left or the, the middle one. Mm. So yeah, you could. So which yeah. one would you? We, we didn't, you didn't involve me. You just told me. And I, is it? From that, am I supposed to retain that and now do it you know, 20 minutes later on when it's critical? Am I, is that it? Is that, am I supposed to do it now? Is that, have I been trained? I see what you mean. I haven't been trained. No. On that. So that's why, you know, you need to sort of think about your learning sit through their eyes. Because just because you say something doesn't mean they can just do it now. Because you've said it. Yeah. If, if only, if only it was that easy. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if we could just learn someone just tells you something like it's a magic spell? You can now do this as a gazam, you can now do this. Like, oh cheers, wow, it's just passed into me. I can do it. Wow. If it was that simple, there wouldn't be driving instructions and driving lessons because we need to get out there with them and, and, and explain it and so they understand it and then they gotta practice and do it with your help. And then with experience, I go, ah, I'm getting in this now. And I should have a good experience. You should, yeah. And I've not, because I've made lots of mistakes. And, um, but I don't really know what they are at this point, do I? Because I'm no. just like, I don't know what, did I do all right? I don't know. <laughs> you know That's right, yeah. I know I didn't, because <clears throat> I've cut people up and, yeah. you know, done some Yeah, I was going to have to talk about that as well. critical things, you know, with my lane discipline. Because I just don't know what I should have done, and um, so that's 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 how you have arrived here. Yeah. With your people making so many mistakes. Basically. Yeah. So we should just delve through it. We should just have a chat because, like, just going to the roundabout you just drew there. I, I, the last question I asked you is, well, what are my mirror? When were my mirrors not all right? So when I come up to that last roundabout. Yeah. You said turn right, and I've just gone over. Whoa, no mirror check. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. So you're right to say it, but if I ask, you, 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 I shouldn't have to ask, you should tell me exactly where I did it and why that's so safety critical. Yeah. So I, I did do it, you know. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, so I saw, saw that a few times, like, geez. So it's really nice watching you people mm. and seeing what they've done. But to be fair, I think at that point you're beginning a bit frazzled because I'm like, oh, what am I doing? Because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm turning right one minute, then I'm going ahead and I'm following the micro wall. <laughs> what should we do? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> how do I do that? <laughs> no, no, I get that, yeah. He's not signalling. How do I know where he's going? I'm just like, well, then he went. So I was like, oh, then you said go ahead. I'm like, what, up there? I was like, no. But he said, right. <laughs> so if that was delivered in good time with the sign, mm -hmm. our next roundabout, we'll be turning right towards Norwich third exit. Treat this one as turning right. Okay. Okay. Now I know where I'm going. Yeah, that's all we need to do. So, uh, <laughs> so <clears throat> let's just go 
back. So, like, we left the car park. Yeah. I moved off. I did all that. You didn't. I'm looking at you, thinking, are you going to check? So, you just make the, your instructor checks. Yeah. Yeah, because you're a bit preoccupied at that point. I'm thinking, well, I'm looking, but you're not. So, um, yeah, why well, check? Then you have your little checks. Just, just something to be aware of. Do your instructor checks. Um, so then we come to the first roundabout, I'm turning right, I've got in the left lane, and good, you've, you've spotted it straight away, and you're telling me what I should do. Now at that point, there's like warning shots, hang on, we're going on to the multi-lane roundabout, so my lane Positioning is bad, yeah. Positioning is sketchy. It was sketchy, At that yeah. point, I'd think, how it's... What we're going to do, change your plan, at the next round about turn right, we're going to go around and just do it again. Yeah. And I this time I'm going to help you with the right, so we're going to check, you know, I want you in the right hand lane and keep to the right, because that's the correct position for turn mm. right. Oh yeah, no, I forgot. Or whatever, I don't know what I just said. <laughs> no, no. But I've made a mistake, the yeah. learner's made a mistake, and that's what they, they're, they're good at making mistakes, that's what they do. Yeah. That's... I mean, it would be a bit boring if they didn't. <laughs> and we would be unemployed. So um, so we're there to teach. So, so yeah, if you've gone around that again, just cleared that up. And a little reminder, I'd be like, oh, yeah, no, sorry. So there were warning signs. Weren't there? So anyway, so we, we continued, persevered with your route. Legit. And then at the next round, we're did. going ahead. There's two lanes. I picked the right. You did. What lane? Yeah, so what lane should I have? The left. So if you said that to me before and helped me, because we are dealing with multi-lane rounds. That's right, yeah. Your level of instruction should be something like this. Okay, how the next round, but I'd like you to go ahead towards all other routes. It's the second exit. What lane are you going to be in? And I would have said the right. And you would have said, no, you need to be in the left because that's the left mm -hmm. right. And I'd be oh. So how what's the right lane? Oh, that's for overtaking, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So we drive on the left, we're kicked to the left, unless it says otherwise, and it didn't. Oh! Learning takes place before. Yeah, but... I see. Oh, wait a minute. This... What's up? Here's um, this one. Lovely hands. <laughs> <laughs> Might be full. That's, it's good that it's seen. Yeah. Because we don't actually, we, it's only filming that bloody car, anyway. Yeah, basically, yeah. They don't want to bother about that. So that, that's good, because that has seen the drive, hasn't it? So that's it has, good. yeah. Yeah, it's been an interesting drive, yeah. So, yeah, so it's just a case of getting, being proactive mm. rather than reactive and being ahead of me before, the, before I make the mistake. Yeah. So you can instruct me and guide me and agree that, agree the level of instruction before going out. So, okay, how are we going to go into the new roundabout? So, how much help do you want from me for the first few? You know, do you want me to talk you through? Like, we kind of did have that yeah, first yeah, we didn't we do, do it, you know. So yeah. Do it. So um, it is deliver on what you've said. I'm still working on that part, but yeah, I'm not pushing. And then we come yeah. up to the roundabout, the next roundabout, onto the end where we turned left. And very good question there, you know, um, about the speed limit. Because mm. I would have thought, oh, dual carriage, well, I'll go off. So yeah, that's good. We got going, overtake on a lorry. Um, yeah, you've incorrectly instructed me to shut that mirror to go out. Yeah, no, I, I realised I did and, that. I don't and, know why I said that. And there was a van behind. So, so yeah, just be mindful. I know it's it's easy thing to do, but it could be, it could, yeah, depending when you make that mistake, it could be critical. Yeah, could yeah, be certainly a, so. You know, um, a thingy. So then we got to the next roundabout where I'm going left. On the sign, it's left. Mm. Second exit. So if you deliver that instruction to me earlier and let me look at the sign, then in my mind, I can visualise where I've got to go. Mm. But because you're delivering after the sign and saying, stay in this lane, go ahead. Yeah, you I'm looked like, forward, didn't you? You went forward. And, and I'm like, like, oh, yeah. I thought that was left. I thought I was going ahead. Because yeah. the arrows said ahead. And most drivers, experienced drivers, the first time they drive that are confused by it. Oh, no. Because the sign says left, the arrows say ahead. 
Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Yeah, it's confusing. Yeah, I think I'm going on to very confusing. Yeah. Ahead, and I'm thinking, oh, is it this? This? And the first left is like a like access to a field or a farm or something. It's yeah, like, yeah. So it's not like a road. No, but it is on the sign. Yeah, and it's like, oh, so actually, I'm going left. But, so it's confusing. Yeah, so it is confusing. If you've planned your route, you'll think, oh, there's potential confusion. Mm. There. I'll give my, like, my little people a heads up and say, look, we're going to go to a roundabout, we're going to see signs. So that's what I would have liked in my briefing signs, countdown markers, when we're going to start the routine, lane discipline, what we'll do on the roundabout. Because this is different, isn't it? Mm, it is. You know, my MSPSL routine is going to start a lot earlier, it's going to it start is. when I see that sign. Mm, that's, that's correct. And so, so and, and there's a potential I could get confused. So if you give me the heads up on that and say, look, you know, I see a picture sign. Think, oh, right, yeah, so, okay, yeah. All I need to do is do it a bit briefly. I'm not saying yeah, yeah, so, yeah, no, a lot no, of time course, on it. Yeah, of course, of course. And I'll be like, oh, okay. And um, then I can go and do it. Some of our instructors have got, like, gone on with, they've gone up, one of our instructors has gone up with a drone and um, taking a picture of that. But now the law's changed and it's within five miles, five kilometers of the airport, so they can't... So he got in there when it was before the law um, changed with the drones going up. Yeah. So yeah. I can... I, I shared them on our Facebook group. I'll put them on again, so I might have missed it. But I think they, I do they, miss them. Yeah. That, that, that'll be a good visual aid. When, when the satellite goes over at Google, then it'll be on Google Earth. Yeah, I, know, see, I looked on Google Earth and I tried doing it that way, but there's nothing there I can Yeah, use they, it. they haven't gone over since the road. I see the late. markings are there, but yeah. nothing's there there. <laughs> that's it. So that would be, that's a nice little extra touch. You don't need it today. You just no. need to explain the roundabout. Because, you know, what I would do, I'd say, look, basically, you're going to come up yeah, to us, uh, you know, you'll see a sign... have an exit there an exit there and an exit there with a little one of them on it so what's that mean or no through road so, it could be like a no entry sign couldn't it? it could be it's not but it's you know, normally so we're, we're going to approach this one and this is the one that we want so as we approach this the lane markings on approach it was split into three lanes and this one they say that like ahead ahead and right so we want to go here so what lane would you be in oh I, I suppose this one because surely this one's for going left and a lane each. Ooh. So when well, actually now you'd be in this lane and you'll go round the roundabout. So you go round and up there. So it'll actually feel like you're turning left, but the arrows are saying ahead. So it's a bit confusing. Yeah. Just that's all you've got to say to me. Yeah. Give me the little heads up on it. And um, and so then when you we get there, so this is the roundabout I spoke about. Yes, there's the sign. Oh, yeah, yeah no, yeah, no, I remember, yeah, I remember, yeah, I've got to be in the left lane for this one. I remember, I? yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. See how easy that would be? Much easier, And yeah. the, the thing is, learning must take place. You've got to explain this to me so I understand mm. why and what I'm doing. Just, so that is the difference. Rather than let me go through it as a whiz, I'm like, what what happened there? I thought I was going left or well, well, that was confusing. <laughs> that is a bad thing to hear from people as they've just gone it through is. a roundabout. So well, I was confused with that one. Yeah. I don't know what happened then. Yeah. That's bad, isn't it? It's very bad, yeah, it's very bad. I didn't learn, I didn't no. really know what was going Yeah, no, no, it was very confusing, I yeah. just get back and say, oh, I don't know what happened now. I don't know. So, if you talk to me about it before, and brief me, and help me, so we fully understand when we get it, I go, ah, yeah, right, get it, yeah, it makes total sense. Yeah, mm. it's confusing, yeah, yeah. thanks. Yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. If that's the difference. So it kind of went on, and so then, you know, I'm, and I went out of my lane then and I just you no did. I didn't affect anyone that time no you didn't but I'm out mm. should have stopped me keep me in my lane verbally say how in your lane or if I don't so go verbal first because there was a couple of times if I, I like, don't yeah, but... which you did verbally yeah. say and I don't get me back in that lane if it's you know you've got to make sure it's be aware of your surroundings make sure it's safe to do so so there were shots fired when you think oh god oh my he's just yeah. going the wrong way so then I'm going ahead again what do you think I'm going to do See, to prevent I think Howard and you yeah. did stay in this lane stay in it, and then I yeah. go out and they say Howard no because I want you know because of what was happening in previous lessons I want to make sure that you will take action yeah with a learner because they will do that and you need to be on it take control of the car 
get me where I should be. Because that, that white Audi, it was a safe safe enough distance by. But he, he would have thought, blimey, what is he like? Jesus, that's a driving school car as well, and they can't drive. What is the instructor doing? Yeah, he would no. think. Then when it come after the dual crash, he's thinking about the overtake. So he's thinking, so I'll put my hand up like, yeah, we are sorry. Mm. And you should be putting your hand up. Okay. So sorry. So um, so yeah, so that that's why I kind of just got out of control, and um, and because there are no places to pull up, well, there is one lay by there. <laughs> there was, but do you want to pull me up in a lay by? No, not that's at gonna all. Be, I've not done slip roads. That's gonna be hard. So um, that's the problem. That's why I wanted to get off the road to get. No, no, it's fine. So when we were there, I realised that I wanted to pull you up, but I realised I couldn't pull you up, and I knew that it was lay by then. I didn't want to pull into the lay by either. I felt that would be quite unsafe. It, so I decided if we could get, if we could get here, I knew that the story was quite big. I knew the moment we could get up here, we could pull up and talk, and we'd be safe doing it. So that that's when we were there. Admittedly, when we first started as well, and your lane control was like, oh damn, do I do I change this now? And I should have gone with my gut and done it. I second guessed myself and didn't go with my gut because my gut was like, Ian, Ian, actually just just don't bother, get off the dual carriage And there was another but time because I didn't follow it. I come out of roll and said, look, you know, you should have yeah. done it. And then there was another round about you thought about intervening and didn't. So what was wrong with that round about? Well. It was, I was going sprouts and turning left. I was going to hit on the brakes and everything, and my feet went on them. And I looked, but just as I went, I looked in my rearview mirror and I looked to the right, and I felt that had I braked there, I could have caused an accident, and that's what I was afraid of. Because you went and you went in for that turn, and you just bombed on the left turn, and I saw what you were doing, so my feet were like that, and I looked, and then I looked, and I was like, okay, hold on, if I stop now, I think that car's going to hit us. And I was like, yeah. well, we can go, and I know that something's not going to hit us there. So okay. I kind of just went with the decision to let you so do it. So was your intervention timely? Could I have gone in a little bit earlier? Honestly, yes. Sure, I, yeah. on, I, I, I admit it. I should have gone, gone in over earlier. the cliff edge then. Had there been something coming around, we're in danger. Now, obviously, I'm managing the risk, and I've used the car in the middle lane as a little shield. But I've gone in there fast. If I nipped the head of that car... I should have come in on brakes a bit more, yeah. So I've got in there really fast and mm. not slowing down enough. Um, and it'd be like, Howard, slow down, slow down, I'll stop you there. Yeah. Um, I recorded a mock test that would go out. Um, I, I went out with a learner. To yeah, you test. told me. Yeah. He, he went into a roundabout. And I'm like, going to stop you there. We don't cross that giveaway line. No. Yeah, he's going in. He's, it's beyond the point of no return. And I'm thinking, he's going. And I said, no, stop, stop, stop. No, I've stopped the car. Safely, not like an emergency stop as we get rear-ended. I've mm. just brought it to a safe stop. So no, that car's coming through. Or there I would have said, gonna stop you, because you just can't see cars coming through, your view's blocked, that's why I've stopped you. Oh, yeah. You're going in too fast, slow down. Oh. So we want to just, because that's the yeah. thing, that's the worrying thing, isn't it? You go out at learners, it, it's They're going to run you ragged. It's a bit different though in my head because, and that sounds awful, but like I said, when I was teaching Stephen... So you've taught uh, one people. I've taught one, admittedly, and it was, but, and I did have dual controls, but it's like your alertness, it, what I mean, and I've said this a, a few times, I, I know it's not your problem, it's something I need to overcome, but when I'm in the car with you, I know you manage it. Subconscious, no matter how many times we speak about it, well, subconsciously. I did say before, didn't I? Like, yeah. remember, because there's yeah, a clue did, you have, I, you I, have. I need to see that you can safely intervene <laughs> verbally, physically, if you have to. Yeah, I need to, to get my head around We are going on that. the NDI, it's in the news all the time about crashes and people Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. We are going into a high-risk site. We are. You need to be like, Frosty, you need yeah. to prevent. You know, you with the best laid plans will prevent a lot of that. But so when it does go wrong, you you're the safety net, and there's just too much for you to cope with because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, there was a lot and, for uh, me to cope with. And remember, I'm driving s within safety limits mm. I, I am effectively managing your risk for you mm. where your learners don't they'll just go in and subconsciously so that's how you with a motorbike coming around that roundabout where take them out yeah 
I know. That's that's the reality. That is, you know, that's the truth, mm. and that's the worry. If you're going to go out learners, you're going to have a problem. I know. That. Sooner or later, it's going to happen until you crack this problem. And the thing is, whose son or daughter out there wants to volunteer to to, to be the one? So you need to get it before you can take them out. That's, yeah, that's no, from no. a safety you know, point of view as a driving school. You know, do we have we just need to make sure we've got a duty of care to people's sons and daughters and then the pupil themselves and every and the motorcyclist, the the father of three who's gonna come round on that bike and get taken out by us. Mm. We've got to make sure that everyone's safe. Yeah, and no. That's, so that's why it's quite a heavy one. And that's why we've got to like, really crack it now. We've got to crack it. So that's what we're going to do. We've got to, got to do it. We've got to find a way through to get there. So um, so that, yeah. that's, that's, yeah. So what, what, what <laughs> I think we should do is go back and repeat that exercise. We should go back to where we were I think, right. So I do the same things, you jump in. Okay. That would Fine. be, that would be a, the thing to do, isn't it? So yeah, you're, you're, you're said, the teacher. Yeah. You, you, well, you, you, well, what would be your take on it? What would you, I think what would you're you right. I think I need to get over this false. Uh, like I said, when when I was with Thingy, I was I was like like that. Oh uh, God, he he could look in the wrong direction. I was ready to grab that wheel, well, and I need to get rid of this well, false you, false yeah, sense you just need with to you. Show me that because I'm yeah. the one who's will end up wind up in court if we um. You know, I have my, my role in this. Yeah, he was fine <laughs> in training, lie. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. He, let, he showed me he could do that. No, he didn't. Let, let's do, let's yeah, do so that, yeah. I, I just do have to see it. I've got to see it. No, no, you yeah. do, you do, you really do. Let, let's do that again. How then. can I sign off on it if I don't see it? Yeah. Just you say, oh, well, I, do, I do normally do it with someone else. I'll be like, okay. Oh, that's good enough for me then. Right. <laughs> that's like turning up for your driving test. So don't worry about it, Mr. Examiner. Just you stay there, get a cup of tea, because I can drive. You don't need to stop, because I promise I can drive. They'll be like, yeah, sure you can. Let's jump in the car. Let's have a look then. <laughs> yeah, we need to see it. Yeah, no, I appreciate your right. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's do that route again. Okay. And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be frosty. I'm gonna be really, frosty. really frosty. Oh. <laughs> Ice cold, you know. Okay, so let's so what we've agreed to do just off camera is we're going to drive back to the location we started from and you can tell we've swapped seats so i'm going to act i'm going to play the role of the driving instructor ian's going to play the role of the pupil and i'm just going to show do a demonstration of how you can brief and give instructions clearly in good time and if i need to intervene i will so you've been said you can cut lanes mm. um but I'm not. I am not going to let you. Okay. Okay. So um, but we've just said don't drive recklessly, recklessly because yeah. if you did, I'd terminate the lesson. Yeah. If I had someone that just couldn't control a car because I wouldn't take one on the NDR if he can drive. So yeah. um, so just yeah, it's drip. If ever, but you won't because I'll explain to you before. Don't go out your lane, and I'll remind you before. So there's just no way you can do. It. And if you did, I'd be like, whoop, just bring you back in. That's that's about as dramatic as it'll be because you're going to know what to do. Mm. So I just do a short briefing. I need a picture around about that do. So um, so yeah, this is what I would have done at the start. So before we get started, in do your copper drill, get yourself set up. Oh, okay. Alright, you get yourself all set, and then I'll we'll have a little chat about what's going to happen today. Happy, clutch foot all right. Just double check because we don't want to get moving and you realise you're not quite yeah, in the right seat position. Yeah, and have you checked your head restraint? Yeah, head restraint. Okay, good, great. So, um, what we're going to do, as as we were discussing.
discussed in at the end of last lesson. We've done our roundabouts. Mm -hmm. So just quickly remind me where we got to of your roundabouts. What did we do? Um, we learned MSPSL. Um, cool. Approaching roundabouts. What does it stand for? Uh, mirrors, signal, position, speed, look. Did we talk about louder? Uh, look, assess, decide, now. Very good. And so we did roundabouts and what did we do? Did we go left, ahead, right, or did we do a bit of everything? We did a bit of everything, yeah. Okay, and did we deal with multi-lane roundabouts? No. No. So at the end of the last lesson, we talked that we would introduce, that would be the next log logical step for you to introduce roundabouts. It's going to be slightly busier, multi-lane. Okay. Very good. And also, we're going to go on to some dual carriageway today, which you've not done. No. But you have, in previous lessons, on several occasions, been on uh, country roads um, and you've got up to national speed limit. And what is the national speed limit? 60. Yeah, and did you get up to 60? Mm. And how did you feel with that? Yeah, all right. All right. So today we're going to go on to dual carriageways as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just going to cover a couple of questions about dual carriageways. So just, do you know what the speed limit is on a, on a dual carriageway if it's national? Yeah, 60. It's actually 70. Oh. So, so yeah, slight change. So if it's single carriageway, if it's national speed limit, it'll be 60. Mm -hmm. So you're allowed another 10 miles an hour on a dual carriageway. And do, you, do you understand the, the, what a dual carriageway is? What makes a dual carriageway? It's got two dual, roads. Yes, yeah, separate. There's some divide between your carriageway going in that direction and the other traffic coming the other way. I see. And that doesn't include like hatched paint or anything like that it has to be a okay. physical kind of barrier whether it's just a grass verge or a little curb I see today you'll have a hard barrier of actual you know arm code barriers going down the centre of the road okay so that'd be dual so for that reason you have a bit more speed oh cool. okay but we'll see well, if you feel comfortable doing the extra speed we'll build you up to it it's not like a target we don't have to do it you can do a 60 if you prefer okay alright so we might if you want we can get some overtakes in if you yeah, we could talk because we haven't done any overtaking, have we? No. So if, we, if an overtake situation comes up today, would you like to have a little go? Yeah. So if that happens, I'll give you a little talk through for the first one, just to make sure we do it safely. Okay. Happy with that? Yeah. Good. So anyway, main topic, we're going to look at these roundabouts. So here's a roundabout that we were doing last week. Yeah. A straightforward roundabout. Four exits, single lanes on approaches. Mm -hmm. Okay, today we're going to have multiple lanes, so okay. I am going to do out roll. I'm going to do quite a short brief and just go yeah, yeah, I understand, time. I understand, Because so, uh, yeah. I said about having brief pictures of the NDR yeah, and Yeah, that's that. fine, yeah. Um, I'm just going to keep it simple. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so, yeah, so we're going to be pro approaching roundabouts with multiple lanes like that. So okay. this, this, I've divided into three lanes on approach this roundabout. I see. So let's deal with what these lanes do, where you should be if you're going ahead. So if you're going ahead at this roundabout and there's three lanes without road markings, without like, arrows on the road, what would be your understanding of what lane to use? Um, I think you always said driving positions on the left, so it would be the left so, lane. So we're going to drive on the left as our default position. Now I mentioned that because a lot of people think a lot of experienced drivers still do. So we might see some of these today. So we might see other drivers making mistakes. Okay. Very common on the road. Other drivers might think that the left, this left lane is for left only, the middle's for ahead, and the, the right's for right. Oh. Seems logical, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But it's actually not. It'd be, as you said, the two, the left lane and the middle lane can go ahead. Mm -hmm. The left lane can go ahead and left, and the right lane is normally right only. I see. So we'll just be aware of that. Okay. Some of these roundabouts will have road markings to okay. tell us that. And some won't. Okay. So what we're going to do, on approach to these, before you get to this bit, mm. it's all a bit late. Yeah. So we can plan that a lot better by looking at signs. So you'll get, before the roundabout, you'll get big boards, big signs about the roundabout. Okay. So it kind of show you what the layout of the roundabout is. Mm -hmm. So that's the first place we're going to start looking. I see. So as soon as we see that sign and we can read it, I'm going to give you the directions so you know where you're going in good time. Okay. Okay. Um, and then we can start planning and starting our MSPSL routine. So as soon as we're reading this sign, we're updating our mirrors. Okay. Okay. At that point, we're going to start easing off the gas, just be bringing the engine brake in. Mm -hmm. And as you get a bit closer, you're going to get signs like this, little rectangular signs. 
the first one you'll see will have three stripes, three diagonal stripes on it. Okay. Then there'll be another one with two. And then what? Then there'll be another one. And how many lines will that have on it? One. Right. And do you know what these signs are for? No. They're just a they're countdown markers to let you know you're coming up to the junction. I see. Okay. So we want to at this point on the 300 yards because they're in yards on the 300 yard mark. I want you to start to actually apply your brakes and shoot brake lights. I see. Okay. So before that, when you see the big sign, we're mirrors engine braking. Okay. By the time we're there, we're physically on the brakes, just gently braking. Okay. We've got 300 yards to get our speed off, so we might be doing 60, 70. We're going to bring that speed nice and gently. Okay. So that's quite a big difference to what we did last time. Yeah. It's... Starting that routine nice and early. Okay. So um, so we're going to all that get all that speed off, and we're going to start. Oh, next set of signs, I should say. On some of the roundabouts, then you'll get another sign after that telling you what it's going to say on the road about them lanes. Yeah. So you'll get another board telling you, explaining what lanes you're in. It'll say, get in lane. Okay. Okay. So we're going to be going ahead of a few of these. So what name are we going to use? Uh, left. Good. Now, on the roundabout, because there's three lanes in, it's mm. logical that on the roundabout there should be three lanes. Yeah. And they will be marked. So I want to put some road markings on here. So as we get, if we're using this left lane to go ahead into there, it's really important that you stay in your lane around the roundabout. I see. A lot of drivers have show bad discipline and drift out of lane. I see. So you might get people, and you'll, I dare say you'll see this today, there's people in the left lane drifting straight over into that middle lane. I see. What would be the risk of doing that? A collision? Yeah, so if someone's coming in lane two, the middle lane, coming in and the car drifts out collision no. what does what happens though that like that car in the left lane moves over the car in the middle lane thinks whoa hang on a minute so they move over so everyone moves over lane so the poor person turning right has nowhere to go no, it doesn't. and you'll see all the signs and debris car debris where people have had collisions there's oh. cars end up on the roundabout because oh, right. of that so it's vital, essential, that we stand our lane. I see. Okay, we're not going to change lanes on the roundabout. No. So I'll be helping you, I'll be talking you through this. Okay. I will remind you too that if I feel you're drifting out of lane and there's danger, I'll, I'll come in and physically make you stay in that lane. Okay. Okay, you're happy with that? Sure. For me to do that? Yeah. Because I'm only going to do that for yours and everyone else's safety. I understand, yeah. Very good. Great. So um, so that's the general rule. We're going to be going ahead at several roundabouts following that same rule. And okay. One of the roundabouts we're going to be going left. Okay. Our role, I'm not going to do the complicated one. Okay. I would do. Yeah. But I feel confident to do that on the move with you. Okay. Okay, so I can talk you through about a picture. That's fine. Because I've, because I've done it like a lot of times so but I would do I would do yeah, it's okay, only, I'm, I'm only skipping it for time yeah no I appreciate there is that. one that's going right and the road markings say ahead and most drivers will get that wrong so you've never done it you're more likely to get it wrong so there's a high risk okay. but I'll manage I'm going to manage my risk on the move when we get there okay and I will talk a bit louder than I normally did I need to say this camera's picking it up I see <laughs> so when we get going at that dual as well, I might be shouting. I'm not. Just, I'm not I'm <laughs> get out your lane. No, I just be like, I will just try and be heard against the rumble of the the traffic and stuff. Okay, so back and roll. Okay. Okay, so gonna move off in a minute. Okay. I want you to drive to the best of your ability. Yeah. That we done. There will be some roundabouts quite soon before we get on the NDR, and mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be giving you directions clearly and in good time. If you're not sure of anything I say, just ask and I will repeat it. Okay. I want you to follow your routine, your safety routine, your mirror signal manoeuvre yeah. on approach to these. If I see anything missing, I'll step in and just intervene verbally and remind you, like, you need to check your mirrors there if I see it. That's okay? fine, okay. But for the new subject, when we get to the big Moe Lane roundabouts, for the first couple at least, are you okay if I just talk you through? Yeah, just to make sure because we don't want to get these wrong. Do we? No, no. I want you to have a good learning experience. I want you to go through them, getting it right, like okay. ten out of ten. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then once you've got that, with my help, I'll hand over, and then you can start doing it. Okay. Independently. Sure. Happy with that? Yeah. Good. So just notice your window's little jar open. So are you happy to put your window up? 
And why do you think we're putting the windows up? Noise? Yeah. Well, noise for the camera, yeah. But also, because you'll need to hear me. Okay. We're going to be going 60, 70 miles now. You're going to get a lot of drag. Okay. And a lot of noise, like you say, and vibration in the car if we leave those windows open. So, when you're ready, I'd like you to drive, move off. At the end of the road, we're going to be turning right, okay? okay. And just, you just show me just how well you've been doing with your, your safety routines when moving off. Oh, yeah, gotcha. That's it. It's been a week, so just sort of get used to the car when you when you start off. Take your time. Good, good observations. Well done. Okay, so yeah, end of the right turn right. Okay, right. Are you happy dealing with this? You're okay. Uh, yeah. Um. How do you feel your position emerging out of this junction? I, I don't know, it's, it's all, it looks like a one way. There was no it? centre white line, was there? No, you, no. If there was, you'd just slightly be over it. Oh. You could have been a bit more over to the left there. Oh. You have left enough car for car to get into your right, would you say? Do you think a car could get in there? Yeah, just I, was, about? I was a bit confused to be honest. It's a lot of traffic here. Okay, concentrate on the traffic. We'll come back to the why you think that's a one way later. We're just continue with the plan I'll answer that question later so don't dwell on that just we'll come back so I'll make a mental note okay okay so good good mirrors in the new roads and just remind me what's the speed limit on this road traffic a 30 good and how do you know that um the lampposts yeah the lampposts yeah. very good and what's happening behind at the minute um, there, there's a Volkswagen very close to me. Okay, so we're approaching the roundabouts shortly. Okay, there will be a sign for it. Tell me when you can see the sign. I can see it now, yeah. Okay, so we're going to be turning left towards Roxton. Um, so what lane do you think you'll need to be in here? The left hand lane. Good. Do you think you'll need a signal? No. Move into the left lane. Let you deal with the roundabout. Good. So why don't you need a signal on that one? Um, I don't know. Because there was only yeah. one left. The, your left was almost ahead. There was the first exit. It was clear that you were doing that. We're going to go ahead of this roundabout. So what lane we use if there's multiple lanes? Uh, left. Good. And when you're on the roundabout, are you going to straddle the lanes or are you going to stay in your lane? I'm going to stay in my lane. Good. And why are you doing that? Uh, so they'll cause a collision. That's it. And where could you cause a collision? On the right. That's it. Cars turning right would be affected as you straddle the lane. And yeah. coming into a new road, what's the speed limit? 50 now. And have you checked your mirrors before that? You've no. Got speed? No, no, no. Why should you do that? Um, to know what's happening. Yeah, well, if a motorbike was overtaking you there and you've sped up, do you think I'd be happy about that? No, no, no. What's he going to cause him to do? Uh, probably swerve or something. Or crash, swerve or something. speed up more and exceed the speed limit. Yeah. He won't be very happy. No. Or he'll have to brake and sit in behind you. So if you knew there was a bike there before, would you have been put that speed in? Uh, no. Good, no. let him pass. So that's why we're going to check those mirrors before any change of speed or direction or before cycling. Okay. Okay, speed limit on this road is? Okay, so you were driving 40 there, so could we make progress, safe okay, progress? Yeah, Good, yeah. yeah. And we're about a minute from our next roundabout, and these are the multi-lane roundabouts I was talking about. Okay, okay, so I'll be helping you on this one. Are you happy to make the decision to go? Yeah, okay, okay. yeah, that sounds good. If you make a bad decision, I'll override you and tell you to stop, okay? Okay. Tell me when you can see the sign for the roundabout or to physically see the roundabout itself. You will see it see. And when you do, I want you to check your mirrors. See your brake lights ahead? Yeah. So let's check the mirrors anyway. We're going to be turning right at the roundabout. So what lane would you use? The right hand lane. Good. Here's the sign. Third exit, yeah? Okay. You're making the decision to go.
good decision. And what lane are you going to use on the roundabout? The right hand lane. Very good. So just stay nicely in your lane and tell me when you're going to check your mirrors and when you're going to signal for the exit. Uh, now, now I'm going to check it now. Good. And can you cross these broken white lines? Uh, yes. Yes, you can. Sure. Good, because they're broken, aren't they? If yeah. they were solid, could you cross them? Uh, no. no. They're solid, you can cross them. So we've got broken lines, so we should return into the left lane on exit. Yeah. So that's good. Well done. So now, what's your speed? Uh, 70. So you're, you, know, you're, you were doing 60 when I asked, now you're up to 65 and that's good. So vehicle, slow moving vehicle ahead. Mm, we are approaching another roundabout and what I'd like you to do is just stay behind that vehicle. Let's not attempt an overtake before the roundabout just because I want to talk you through and I don't want to do two things at once. Okay. okay? So we'll make this easy for ourselves. So can you see the board for the, uh, the roundabout? Yes. So update your mirrors and engine brake. Just lift it off. Now can you see the countdown markers? Uh, yeah, yeah. So when you reach the 300 yard marker, apply gentle pressure to your brake. It says slow on the road, stay in the left lane. See the get in lane sign? We're gonna use the left lane to go ahead. Oh, I see, I see. Stay in our lane. So more braking now, more braking, more, more, more there. Good speed, think about gear, you make the decision. Stay in your lane. Uh, so okay, check right mirror. Is anyone there? No. Just stay in your lane there. That's so you just drifted over there. Mirror signal exit. That's it. That benefits the mini. That's it. Mirror check. Make progress. Okay, so we will talk about that little deviation of lane there. We'll come back to that, but I want to focus on this next roundabout with you, okay? okay. We're going to be turning right, but stay in this lane for now, okay? okay? This is a bit of a complicated roundabout. So we're going to stay in this lane behind the lorry for now. Check your centre mirror, right mirror. Can you see the Mini coming up in lane two? Uh, yeah, yeah, I see. Look ahead, can you see the countdown mark? I can. Yeah. Lift off? Yes, off. I wouldn't brake on this 300 yard, yard markers because you're already going quite slow. You're already doing 45. So now, just gently apply the brakes. And look at the road markings here. We're gonna stay in our lane, stay just left of center, the center white line, stay where the lorry is. And now look at road markings. Both of these are arrowed for going ahead. We're actually turning right. Oh. Okay, so in you go, stay in your lane where the lorry is, stay in your lane. Don't cut the lorry like he's, like, don't cut the lane like the lorry just did, just stay there, very good. We will stay behind the lorry. Check your right mirror, someone's on an overtake, and that's why we're staying in our lane. Mirror signal exit, see it coming round, he's gone round and not in, so that's why we're checking those mirrors. And now we're thinking about an overtake. Centre mirror, right mirror, is it safe? Yes. Signal, right, accelerate. Very good, when it's safe, centre mirror, left mirror, back into left hand lane. Don't really need a signal there, you can just come back in, but that's oh. okay. We've got a peace sign in half a mile, what's that telling us? Parking. Parking, so what's the dangers? They could park cars on the road. Yeah, they'd be off road, they'd be in a lay by, but lorries could be pulling in or out. Oh. So that is a significant hazard, we're gonna update our mirrors before. Uh, okay, can now. you see the parking area? Is uh, anyone looking to move out? Oh no, no, there's a lorry there. Look in lane two, what's happening with this there's, Mercedes? There's Mercedes coming really quick. So he's coming quick, our speed's at 70, or just under. So he's exceeding speed limit. We're not judging him, we're just knowing that he is. Okay. At the next roundabout, we're going to be turning right. Okay. You're going to see a sign for it soon. It's a mirror signal. If it's safe, I want you to change lane. So we need to do this one early. So there's a sign quite late on this occasion. 40 yeah. limit ahead, mirrors, slow down. So no countdown markers, just to change the speed limit. So down to 40, leave it in this gear, and look at the road markings. We're turning right in a right only lane. Do you need a signal? No, no. Yes, no. let's get a signal. Oh, okay. It is needed. Do you deal with the roundabout? Do you make the decision? Is it safe? Yes. yes. Stay in your lane. Right so this signal is necessary when you come round here, because as we come round, staying in your lane, See that red lorry? He's going to benefit from this signal. Mirror, see. signal left. Broken white line, left mirror into new roads. Okay. Put a bit of gas on this, don't slow down too much there. 
check all mirrors, cancel signal. Now check this left mirror. Is there a car there? Yeah, like really Okay, close. so stay in this lane, we're gonna go ahead of the roundabout. Two lanes on approach, what lane are you gonna be in? Left, left. Good. Are you gonna stay in your lane? Yes. There are yeah. roadworks and signs here that tell us the left lane will be closed. So oh. this is gonna be a little bit different. So now check your center mirror and right mirror and change position so you go round the road markings. Nice. Stay in the right lane because we're going to turn right the next round around. So mirror, mirror. Mirror, mirror. Do you need a signal? Yes. Good. And I'll leave this one to you. You're making the decision. What's the bus doing, do you think? I, I don't know. Is he signalling? I can't see a signal. Yeah. So there you go. Should he have signalled? Yes. Yeah. He was coming round. So that he didn't give you the information you needed or the information you gave to the red lorry that we just saw on the last roundabout. Good, good mirrors, good signal. Now you signalled there. Did you need to say Yes. Was anyone coming in? Was anyone no, affected no. by it? So that if there's no one there, you really don't need to. I don't mind that you do. Just think about who's around you and whether you need to signal. Because it, it can benefit. You know, just be mindful of your surroundings. Okay, the next roundabout. These are the ones we did last week. So I'd like to turn left. Independent on this one. So again, you put the signal on, who benefits? Oh, no one, no one. Well, I, th I think them pedestrians. Oh yeah, might. of course. Yeah, they might. might. They? Yeah. They're a little bit closer to the junction, they definitely would. So, um, so I just want you to be thinking about your position. Now, your position coming around that corner, you were sort of on the wrong side of the road. It is a oh. one way, but I wouldn't trust people obeying that. Okay. If you take the next right, and what I'd like you to do is pick a bay either on, on the left or the right and drive forwards into it. Okay. You can drive through the bays if you wish, just try and finish in a bay. All right, secure the car. So what we do, we're sort of at a halfway point now, we'll have a little debrief, still in roll, still have, we'll do a little debrief about okay. what's just happened. Okay. And there were some questions that I need to come back and answer, so I haven't forgotten about them. Mm. So, before I get into the debrief, let's just answer that question. Because mm. there was a question right at the start. Yeah, I don't remember what it was myself, to be honest. So. I mean, it was about when I was putting up the road, wasn't it? Yeah, you said, was it a one way? Well, there, there's lines all the way across, and there's no roads. But we did go in there. So, yeah, we had to turn back around. So, no, it can't be a one way. I don't know. Yeah, so what you had, you had a, a narrow road and the double give way lines going all across the whole road there mm. and there were no centre white lines mm. and it, right in the middle of the junction literally in the middle was a triangle painted on the road I see. and so what you've done it, you've just sort of put your car on top of it mm. okay and at that point i've asked the question about your position and you made reference to you thought it was one way so if road markings are like shown knowing what you know now and that we drove in is it a one way? No. Yeah, so do they have to put a centre white line on all junctions? No. No. So when they're narrower, they might not. Okay. But it's quite easily confusing. So I understand Very why you might have done that. Yeah. But treat all roads as two way unless it says otherwise. And what signs would be in that road to tell you otherwise? Like okay, a one way sign? And what does it look like? Blue. Blue. Yeah. So you'll have a rectangular blue sign of a white arrow, wouldn't you? Mm. On it. And if we turned in and it was a no entry, what signs would you get? It would be red and round like a stop sign, but that's with it. a line, a white line through it. So that's good, because so one day you'll come up to a junction like that and it will be a one way. Mm. And then you'll be turning right and people behind will be bibbing at you saying, get over. Because, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. if you don't know, never assume. Mm. Stay in the left and... Yeah, if someone bibs at you and you've missed a sign, then okay, it's better than being on the wrong side of the road, preventing a car coming in mm -hmm. and, and potentially being in a dangerous situation. True, 
True. So that's how we do that. So, uh, so it's just a case of being aware of those signs and and what the rules of the road are. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so let's think about the roundabouts and how we dealt with the NDR. So, just tell me what went well. Um, what do you think you you, you did well there? I stayed in my lanes. You did. You did very well. Um, what was your decision making like Good. on the roundabout? Yeah. It was excellent. Mm. It's very good. And that's why I brought you onto this because I've seen you do the roundabouts before and you've got a sound decision making. You make good decisions and you continue to do that today. Mm -hmm. So anything there that feel you feel didn't do so well or would need to develop and practice on? At one point you grabbed my steering wheel. Yes, I did. So there you go. So that's what we need to talk about that, don't mm. we? So why do you think I did that? I don't know. Um, maybe I was, you said I was in the wrong lane or something. I don't know. Like we were coming off the roundabout, but there was a lot going on. I couldn't quite figure it out. So I was trying to figure out what the car my right was doing. I was staring at him for a while. I was trying to see what he was doing, but I wasn't really sure. Okay. And the next thing I knew, you were grabbing the wheel. Okay, so let's talk about that. So we've got into the round. I'll just redraw my lines. So we come into the roundabout to go ahead. What lane did we approach in? The left. The left lane. Good. And was there a vehicle approaching in lane two? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's draw him in there. Okay. So now you've gone into the roundabout. And what lane did you go into on the roundabout? The left. Then, the left. And why did you do that? Because you taught me to. Okay. No, so now, now I'm worried because now <laughs> I need to know that you understand No, why. the driving position's to the left because the driving position... In the drawing position to the left, and if That's we're coming in, in the left, so if, then we're if this, the left let's way. say there were less, there wasn't, but let's say there was three cars approaching that yeah. roundabout, one in each lane. Yeah. So there's a lane one, a lane two, and a lane three. Yeah. You go into the left hand lane. Well, yeah. No, sorry, you don't go into left hand lane. You drift out. Where's the the vehicle in lane two going to go? Oh, yes, again, lane three. He's either got to hit you or go in lane three. So he's going to move over. And what about the person in lane three? Where's he going to go? Nowhere. <laughs> there, is, there isn't a fourth lane, is there? There isn't, no. There's a roundabout anywhere. and some grass he could go and land his car on. <laughs> yeah, I guess That's why I've intervened. Yeah. So you, you're drifting out of your lane and there are cars that will be affected. And I've I said to you, come back in your lane. You didn't. So I've come back, get you in your lane to keep everything safe. Mm, I see. Now, another question that come up that's, you look mildly perplexed when I asked it. So I just want to, cover it again okay the first roundabout we did when we come onto the ndr yeah we turned right yeah and you were in a right only lane yeah i was and we and you correctly went into lane three on the roundabout then you come around there ready for your exit didn't you mm. and i asked you a question about the road markings and mm. if it was solid yeah or broken lines so if if because you you will see this in your travels you know we didn't oh, see it see. today if the line here was solid, they normally put two solid lines and a hatched area like that. I'll just draw that on there. Could you, it would normally continue like that, could you cross that line and go into lane one on your exit? No, no, no. I wouldn't be allowed to. Because what do solid lines mean? Don't cross. Don't. So what would you do? What would be the plan if I'd you just saw follow them lines? You would get your end of the new road in lane two. Yeah. Without crossing those lines. The lane tells me. And then when the solid line's finished, what would you look to do? Go into the left hand Go lane. Go into left safely. So that I just asked the question because we will see them, we're gonna see them next. Next roundabout we're doing, you will be turning right and you will be taking your exit and you will see those road markings. Oh yes. And yes. I just don't want you to go through them. Okay. So you've got to understand what the road markers are telling you, what the law is and what's safe to do. I understand. Why do you think they would do that? Why do you think they'd separate I don't the traffic? Know. It's just to help traffic flow. So people coming up here to turn left don't need to give way. I see. They could just keep moving and hope that no one's going to cut through. <laughs> so if you are the person turning <clears throat> left and there's solid hatched lines, it's not a wall, is it? It's not a no. physical barrier. They still could come through. So just be cautious. That, and that, that's what we're looking at next. That lorry cut the lane though, didn't it? Why do you think he did that? Oh, because it's big. Yeah. So that's why if we're going into a roundabout and there's larger vehicles, we're just going to hang back because they need that extra space. I see. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go and do that now. Okay. Then I'll carry on. End of. Done. I see. And if there were problems, we'd go back and do what we just done. I but see. there are no problems. Okay. Because 
Because <laughs> uh, I didn't let her, there'd be any problems. No, I understand, yeah. So uh, so that's how, that's where you need to be. Yeah, that's fine. Just to get a safe lesson out. Yeah, on the end, well, anywhere, not just the NDR. And, and the people watching this will think, what is this NDR? I've got to go to Norris. It's, trust me, it's nothing. If you live in Birmingham and the Spaghetti Junction and M25 or things like that around London, North Circular, it's nothing. <laughs> it's just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> don't no, worry people just don't know how to use the road people, do they? I, people just are a bit baffled by three lanes and roundabouts in North of they are <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to say that yeah. but I think they are, <laughs> they are it's a bit are. of a concept now yeah. there is an argument that they've been badly designed but that's that I'm not going to get into that yeah, so um, so yeah <clears throat>